I'm out here at Electrify Expo Long Beach 2024, and out here we have the new model from Polydrops, the P21. This is now their taller version, trailer, camper, even a home potentially, because it's got solar on the roof and battery, and it's running air conditioning and fridge all day long, and it's still going strong. So let's check it out. All right, come on inside. All right, so here we are inside the new Polydrops P21. Now, I had to duck down to get in, but this is six feet in here. So I'm 5'11", and I can stand up fully in the middle of this new, taller version of the Polydrops camper. But look how nice this is. Like, got some cool lighting. Set the mood. Got a nice convertible bed couch area here, table. Got a little sink and kitchen, All right? There's a bathroom that pops up here with a little curtain. Another bed up front here, towards the front of the car, or the trailer. And then we have a little stove top here, like this. Look how cool this is. We are inside the new Polydrops P21 tall trailer, which could be, you know, a weekender, or you could probably even live in this for an extended amount of time. This is Kay. He designs these and, and manages the team and gets he's got this going. So. So tell us about Polydrops and how you got to this model, you know? So, yeah, there, there was a few reasons why we came up with this model. Um, but the, the most direct reason was um, I got a baby uh, last year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's now 15 months old. Oh, wow. Now we tried to camp out in um, the P19. That, that's the, our one of the uh, you know first model. Yeah, a little teardrop camper. Uh, that, right? That's the teardrop trailer. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, we tried it and uh, it actually turned out not working well because mm. I mean you know you know that right like babies are small um, but they require lots of space. Yeah. They want to crawl around. They want to throw stuff. So <laughs> yeah, so we came. We, we thought like yeah, we need a big trailer for my family. And mm -hmm. um, I always the uh, I always want to design something that makes my heart beating. I love my son. So I want to go out and you know hang out with my son. That's the number one reason why, you know, uh, we came up with this trailer. But, so if it wasn't for tall people, it was it was uh, for more room for the family. Well, that's all, also the reason why. Oh, okay. I mean, we got okay. lots of you know requests from the people, you know, uh, especially like um, Tesla owners. They were asking me to like, yeah, I mean, I love your idea, I love your design, but why don't you make bigger? Yeah. Like, I got like hundreds, like thousands of that uh, request. Yeah. So. All right, <laughs> yeah, it's the time, and um, you know, I mean, to to tell you about this, I, I need I actually need to tell you about how I started this business. Sure. Um, it was my school project. Oh. So the poly drops was a school project back in two thousand seventeen, and um, it's about the nomadic life. So the at at the moment the trailer that I was working, well, it was a little smaller than this, but still yeah. it was designed to live inside. It was yeah. that was the topic. Um, the reason why we started off with the teardrop trailer was just, you know, I was just trying to reduce the risk because um, I was restricted on, on my funding. So we were like, hey, I want to do something, but I can't build a whole whole big trailer. Seeing your progression over the years, like, because I first saw this at Takeover, and um, for me, you know, I, I I would nomadic or I would camp in my Tesla. So mm -hmm. I would I've never really thought about needing a trailer unless it was something significant, like where you can actually you know, stay in it for a period of time um, mm -hmm. and, and have, you know, a, a bathroom and, oh, yeah. and a little mm -hmm. bit more of the creature comforts. I like the, the teardrop, but for me, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'd rather put that money into just car camping. But now seeing this, this is where you can like park it and then mm -hmm. take your, 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 your EV, mm -hmm. go explore and come back to the campground and oh, then, yeah. and mm -hmm. you know, have a, a nice meal in or, you know, watch some Netflix or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. this is very exciting. Mm -hmm. And I, I also, it seems like it's gonna open up a huge new market for you of people with similar I, yeah. reasons for wanting a taller trailer. I hope so, I hope so. I really yeah. hope people love my design. Um, that, that's my number one thing. I mean, as a designer, I, I also trained as an engineer as well. And uh, most great, grateful thing is that like you design something and people love it and that's it. That's gotta feel that, good. That, yeah, that's gotta that's feel what good. designer wanna do. So yeah. I really hope people. Well, speaking love of my design, design. Yeah. yes, I, I I am one of those people I, that okay. I think loves your design. That being said, can we take a moment to appreciate this design? I mean, just the, the lighting touches. It makes it even though it's very small space, this makes it feel like some, you know, some showroom almost. But it's oh, still yeah. very cozy and comfortable. You got the you know, metal 
but you still have wood, so it feels kind of almost Scandinavian, and you know, like, it feels yeah. like it's something you could live in. You could like, okay. you know, actually like not worry about like, oh, the tea spilled over. You know, it's it's very rugged. I guess what I'm trying to say. It seems well, durable. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I must credit my wife actually, because um, she did a lot of uh, work on like designing the light, the lighting, you know, positions as well. I mean. Oh, this is a good solution. Yeah. yeah, she actually came up with a pretty good solution, which is really easy to build, uh, affordable to, um, you know, do this. Does uh, the, do those features come on the base model? The mo most fundamental thing of the trailers are going to come as a base, basic, you know, stuff. For example, the uh, the Optera solar panel. Yeah. That is basic. Um, the uh, air conditioner, heat pump, the power, uh, five kilowatt of lithium battery pack. They, they are all base option. Um, the optional thing will be the um, the kitchen mm. and the, the sanitation station here. Because this is so all modular, right? They're yeah. modular, so okay. you can just choose to have or not. You can only choose to have the kitchen, but not sanitation station. Because uh, there are already the customers, they want to put more uh, people inside instead of the shower. Because they're not like, like, I can shower anywhere. I can stop by at the truck stop. I mean, people <laughs> have different perspective and um, you know demands. Right. So yeah, that's that's what the, the, the difference between the base model and the uh, you know okay. offer models. Yeah. Starting with base, mm -hmm. uh, what what sort of price range are we seeing here? We want to start from thirty eight thousand. Okay. We're trying to we're, we're trying to make this trailer to be reasonably priced and relatively reasonably priced uh, compared to the you know um, conventional uh, travel trailers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know. I mean. I know this trailer is still a little, you know, higher than the most of conventional tra travel trailer pricing, mm -hmm. um, but um, we can't make this trailer to be more cheaper uh, by, you know, um, giving Skipping, up the uh, the yeah. shape of the trailer, right. the aerodynamics. You, you you probably can see some like there's a like vent holes on the fenders, mm -hmm. yeah, those kind of things, and yeah. also the solar panel. Going with Aptera got, got you more efficiency for surface area, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. so we, we, we did some research. We contacted several um, solar panel con companies as well. Um, but they offer the uh, best performance mm -hmm. we can find. And uh, I love their look. Yeah. Like, they were the only one I can find who were really caring about the, um, you know, performance and aesthetics at the same time of the solar panel. Like, who yeah. does that? <laughs> well, and, I, I and love the idea. Yeah, I love what they're doing. Yeah, that allows you to have conform to your aerodynamic shape too. Without, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's also possible. Yeah. And actually, we we love our uh, you know each other's product. I love Optera. I'm also the uh, reservation holder. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, sure. I love that car. <laughs> I, the first day I saw it, I like, holy shit, I have to buy this. <laughs> now, if only I had <laughs> enough towing, it'd be amazing to see an Optera towing one of these. Well. Uh, um, I don't think it can tow this trail. Right. Uh, well, maybe a teardrop. A teardrop towing a teardrop. <laughs> you will see. You will see. I mean. All right. Yeah, you will see. There will be a few things can come up. Um, yeah. Stay tuned for that. But um, so uh, more efficiency. So you have mm -hmm. 1.3 kilowatts of solar on top, five kilowatt hour battery for, mm -hmm. and that powers everything on the trailer. That's um, right. Including it powers up everything, like air conditioner, heater, <laughs> induction cooktop, uh, microwave, my Starlink, my laptop, um, like my my Alienware. It's really good to play <laughs> some game inside. Honestly, awesome. I'm, I'm I'm those kind of guy. Yeah. Like playing game in the middle of nowhere. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah, that's that's kind of funny. It's like we yeah. like to go places, but then watch Netflix or or gaming. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> instead it, it, of looking at the yeah. stars, but I've seen some of your aero mm -hmm. testing uh, diagrams. Do you have a final uh, coefficient of drag set up yet, or? So how we do is that we usually don't really worry about the the. Uh, it's called CD, right? Right. Yeah. Um, we actually don't really worry about that. We yeah. only we cares about the final air drag in Newton, because um, that is how many how much energy, energy yeah. that you're actually spending to go forward. We, we do have all the, uh, the CFT simulation result on our website. Yeah, actually, this design outperforms any other like traditional like, or traditionally believed the, the aerodynamic shape, like those like bullet shape right. with the boat tail on the back mm -hmm. or, um, or just traditional trailer that has like boxy shape with the uh, angled front. Mm -hmm. um, this thing way more uh, outperforms against them because um, that safety test, I intentionally shrink all the design into the same um, dimension or the perimeter of the, this trailer. Okay. Because I want to directly compare with, the, you know, only the design itself. Okay. And um, yeah, still outperforms because um, 
you know, I mean, the the inspiration about the design of like air di air aerodynamic design is that it's actually air from aircraft. Because right. lots of people think that yeah, teardrop trailers are from airfoils. Well, th which is correct, which is correct. But I'm all, I, I I was also aeronaut nerd as well. <laughs> yeah, I used to design a lot of foam foam board airplanes. I oh, crashed cool. them a lot. <laughs> so that's that's also a way how I get into the uh, you know CFD simulation and like learning the uh, aerodynamics as well. Thing is, I got the idea from the airfoil of F one zero four that the start. I think that's a Starfighter. Right, it's yeah, very the, thin, right? Very thin, yeah. and it has a really you know razor shape, yeah. uh, sharp. Basically, a the missile leading. with a jet engine. Yeah. Like yeah, their <laughs> airfoil. When you see that, if you go you know look into that, they have a really sharp leading edge. Mm -hmm. They're not rounded. Right. So that's that's the one thing that you have to think about, like like yeah, cutting the, the air. Right? Yeah, the starfighters are designed to go just faster. That's mm -hmm. that's their purpose. Same for like it pretty similar to this trailer. Okay. Cause, um, our our deal is not to fly. Our deal is to go um, either go faster or uh, more energy efficiently. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty much the similar thing. Um, so that's the reason why we have carpoon shaped uh, front end. Okay. And um, the rear was a little different story because um, if we make the rear to be sharp as well, for sure it works well. But the thing is, it, like this is almost the uh, maximum length I can do with this trailer. Mm -hmm. If we more go more go further, it causes more problem because right. like, we can't go places like. You can you can only stay in the interstate. You sometimes you still want to go through the dirt road and uh, for a service road, right? Um, I mean, it, it is not good as the teardrop trailers, but still, I want to go those places like BLM for a service road. And we actually did over at the Idaho. Oh, nice. Yeah, we actually nice. did with Fair. the Model Y. How um, did you charge? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. So yeah, for this trailer, I, we just chopped the tr the tail of the trailer. It's called Com Tail, I think. C K okay. A K A M M is Com okay. Tail, I think. Okay. That's how it is called. So basically, it is not good as that full tail design. Right. But once you you know chop chop off your tail at a certain point, you're not really losing that much of the uh, aerodynamic um, you know performance. Uh, yeah, because so. it's makes little vortices but then, um, it, but then it, it actually so. creates the uh, like invisible tail behind right, the trailer yeah. um, so it actually visible on our p19 cfd results it, it actually really creates the uh, like invisible air tail yeah. is that the same reason a lot of cars are just a yeah, flat exactly. back yeah, like, yeah. Like, like tesla they, yeah. they did that uh, or you can you can see the aggressive one on the uh, ford gt40 mm -hmm. they have like like really literally chopped yeah. off the tail yeah. Very cool. Is there much weight difference between like the base model and the fully loaded one? Or? So um, we're expecting it to be around like 500 pounds of the difference. This thing weighs around 2,000. The base model we're expecting it to be 1,500. And but it's almost done. So we're gonna awesome. see the exact um, you know weight. Percent. And that's definitely below the Model Y. Cause Model Y does oh, 3,000 yeah. pounds, right? Or yeah. something like a Model Y. Can, mm -hmm. as, as it, that's how it got here. So yeah. well, that's very awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to? talk about or feature about the, the new well, P21? Th there's just one design principle on this trailer is energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. So everything is just came out from there. So like windows, they're all dual pane. Like like there are oh, like, I yeah, these are that. dual panes. It's, cause, uh, it's not because they're fancy or something. Okay. It's about the energy efficiency because uh, we used to have the single pane uh, with the, uh, we, we, we were trying to, you know, uh, insulate them with the like, extra curtain. Mm -hmm. um, didn't work well and um and then is this a yeah. or is that a closable or? yeah it's, it's just it's just a oh, sunshade like nice. that it actually gives extra um insulation there very cool not not that much but um, if you're at the really cold weather uh that helps a lot i mean it makes yeah. some sort of air pocket there right yeah that's so, right and cool. um and also the it's not really visible from the outside but uh, how we construct the trailer is um i actually really love it because it we we're trying to eliminate almost Almost every every thermal bridges because um, the conventional trailer uh, construction is like you put the uh, stud here and there, just you know um, put the uh, insulating panel between and just laminate them, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is strong. That's strong. That's correct. Strong. And uh, if you wanna uh, you know anchor down something like um, like furniture or something, <laughs> um, they do. They do. Um, wow. Or like spare tire on the outside. Uh, you need those like stud, but um, we actually eliminate everything because um, those are the point that where you lose the uh, heat energy. 
every corner they're all filled up, filled up with the two inch EPS foam. Yeah, so that, that's, that's what I um, really focused on. I mean, it's not visible, it's not like flashy. Um, but but it, the it, results are in the pudding. You, you, yeah, your, it, your energy savings when you have a, a very efficient air conditioner will, yeah. will be the proof, right? Right, yeah, that's right. And um, it just, it, that, that's, the, that's the part that makes my heart beating, honestly. Uh, even though others are, uh, you know, um, people know about it or not, um, it's just what drives me. Like, it just makes me happy. Well, I, I yeah. think that's why I resonated so much when yeah. I first met you back at TakeOver. I was like, yeah. he's, I can see where he's going with this. This is very <laughs> cool. You know, I mean, because people want, yeah. you know, they want to be able to take, you know, you have these clean vehicles, but you mm -hmm. want to be able to, to have other things like trailers and go out and explore the, you know, the mm -hmm. wilderness. Yeah, you yeah. know, and not freeze to death, <laughs> oh, yeah. well, I, and be able to get there and back on a full on a charge. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Actually, uh, I'm really glad that I, um, you know, ever be a EV owner, because um, it's it's not about the it's not about the electricity. I mean, electricity is important, but um, it's not only about that. It's about the energy efficiency. That's right. what I really um, learned from the Tesla or other electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. They're all, you know, um, it's all about the how, how you're gonna spend the energy right like, like for example like model 3 or y they only have like i think it's equal into like two or three gallons of the gasoline inside mm -hmm. that's the energy amount they have but they can do like 300 miles of the driving right like, or aptera where they do oh, yeah, like a thousand miles on oh, yeah, uh, yeah. what it tells you know yeah so uh, yeah that's the whole thing yeah any, anything else you want to include or as, as i told you like um as a designer i want this product to be you know product to help others and um make other people smile so it makes me smile every time yeah. I'm like, oh, there's poly drops. It's so cool. Yeah. So, so I hope awesome. this time um, we, we can, you know, uh, do much better. As you've seen your line out the door all day long, I think you've already made a, a lot of people here at Expo smile. When can people start um, oh, yeah. ordering these and when can they potentially get them? Right. Uh, so uh, we're, we're taking pre-orders right now. Okay. So um, it's hundred dollar refundable. That's the best way to get the trailer, um, and uh, we're we're planning to start the construction, uh, the manufacturing of this trailer by end of this year. Okay. Um, so currently, currently the trailer itself and the construction wise, uh, everything is actually solved. Um, we can move forward, but the panel we got, we just got from the Aptera, we're gonna have the uh, one made out of the glass. Um, that's gonna be much better. That's yeah. what actually they they recommend us to do. But right. I was just nagging them. I I need this panel right now. Yeah, so. I mean, to, for to, to <laughs> show, yeah, to yeah. see a panel here is very. I, I, there's definitely the benefit to having the panels yeah. on display today yeah. this weekend. Yeah. Now people can still order or pick up the teardrop one, right? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, so we're those, still building P19 series. Awesome. Yeah. Can't wait to see these out in out in the world, uh, on the road, going on adventures. And uh, mm -hmm. thanks for sharing all everything about yeah, thanks for your, the by. company and the new direction. Let me know in the comments what would you tow this with, only two thousand pounds, and where would you take it first? Thanks for following Charge Positive, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. That was awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. I'm super excited for this.